Come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Take a look and you'll see into your imagination. Welcome, my little friends. Welcome to my factory. Augustus Gloop, please step forward. Where's my ticket, Mr. Wonka? <laughs> he has a cold. <laughs> my name's Veruca Salt. You know, I always thought of Veruca was a wart, but you don't look like a wart at all. More of a mole, or perhaps a, a bunion, maybe. <laughs> How you doing, Wonka? Salt's name. Salt's name, and I'm nuts. Nuts for nuts, that is. An operation like this must go through a million nuts. Yeah, make that million in one. Your, your tickets? Here's your silly ticket. Can I have it back after the tour? Oh, of course you can, my dear. Of course. Uh, Violet Bubbleguard? I hear ya. Here's our ticket. Oh, scrumptious. Oh, there's no gum chewing allowed in the factory. But you make gum. Mr. Walker asked you to remove your gum. Do we need to negotiate? Psycho babble. Whatever. Mike TV? Mr. Mike TV and guest. Hold your pantyhose, the commercial's coming up! Here's our ticket, Mr. Wonka. Thank you. Oh, and Mike, there's no television reception in the factory. None? None whatsoever. Uh, Chuck Bucket? It's Charlie, Mr. Wonka. Charlie Bucket. Here's our ticket. So you're Charlie Bucket. Odd coincidence you finding your ticket just in time. Now see here, Wonka, if you're saying our ticket's phony... Pleasure to meet you too, Mr... You know me, Wonka. Do I? Well, then we start with a contract. Raise your right hand. I hereby swear not to touch, malign, sign, clutch, share, wear, tear, none such party of the first part, and so on. Please sign below. Not without my lawyer. Let me get my uh, no television reception and no mobile phone reception. <gasps> Where do I sign? Good question, Mr. Salt. In the Wonka Chocolate Factory, there are several thousand rooms. I'll show you what some of them are. In this room here are the luminous lollies for eating in bed at night. And in that room there are the exploding sweets for when enemies start a fight. And in this room here is the rock candy mine, they say that it's three miles deep. And in that room there are the marshmallow pillows to munch when you just can't sleep. Little rooms, big rooms, high rooms, low rooms. Seventeen hundred candy shawl rooms. Small rooms, tall rooms, bathrooms, ball rooms. And you'll find chocolate in almost all rooms. In this room here are the chocolate cows from which we get chocolate milk. And in that room there is the hot ice cream for a cold day smooth as silk. And in every room are chocolate miracles, treats beyond compare. Driving rivals to despair. You should see them tear their hair. And all because of this room here. And this room here. And this room here. And this room here. And this room here. Oh, yes, in that room there. Step center quickly now. I'd hate to lose any of you so early on our journey. Is this some sort of joke? We'll be crushed. Step in the center. Now. 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 Now, in the center, now. If you want to see magic lands, Look around and you will see one. Want to be a dreamer, be one. Anytime you please, but please save me one. Please save me one. Welcome to the chocolate smelting room. Here, thousands of miles of copper pipe twist through the earth 
carefully chilling chocolate to a precise temperature that is perfect for dipping strawberries. No matter how tempting, and isn't it deliciously tempting, do not touch the chocolate. It'll instantly harden like cement. Look over there, it's some sort of creature. Please put your hands in there where I can see him, punk. No need to worry. That, my friends, is an Oompa Loompa. A zombie worker? Oh, no, not a zombie worker, but a refugee. From where, Wonka? All of my workers are Oompa Loompas from Loompa Land. You see here, Wonka, I'm a geography teacher. Then you know all about Loompa Land with its thick jungles infested with horn swogglers and snozzy whiners and those horrible, wicked wang doodles. Wang doodles, there's no such oh, thing. Oh, but there certainly are, my dear. And a vicious vet wang doodle would love to sink its sharp fangs into you. <laughs> Augustus, my chocolate must never be touched by human hands. Great, he's gonna get his clothes to millions of people. The chocolate's frozen like magic shell! He looks like an Easter bunny. We've had an early revelation and lost a child in the chocolate smelter. Shame, the boy really seemed to know about food. Alas, take Mrs. Gloop's poop to the chocolate smelting room and heat him to precisely 102 degrees Fahrenheit. Or, or is that Celsius? Fahrenheit? Celsius. Yes, 102 degrees Fahrenheit, but no higher, or it may spontaneously boil. And that will be a tragedy. Because Augustus would be damaged? <laughs> oh, oh, my dear, Augustus was damaged long ago. The tragedy would be the wasted chocolate. Goodbye, Mrs. Gloop, and good luck. Please follow closely as we continue our tour. We will now be making the next part of our journey by boat. Please step up and in, watch your step. Violet, do not lick the boat. You'll only make the ship sticky. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Wonka. I just love your hat. It really sets off your eyes. But, of course, you have great taste. You know, I would simply adore one of those pink candy boats and maybe a sweet little Oompa Loompa. Brown noser. Mr. Wonka, did you hear me? I said I want a pink candy boat and an Oompa Loompa. Name your price, Wonka. <coughs> a bad parent says what? What? <laughs> exactly. Where are you taking us? There's no knowing where we're going. There's no earthly way. So we're simply to and fro -ing. slowly getting vertical to the south the wind is blowing to the north there may be snow to the west the moon is glowing to the east a 
cock may crow. Since we show no sign of slowing, someone must know where we are. But no destination showing, so it's all a bit bizarre. She must see the silly dallying. It's no mystery where we're going, unlike Edgar Allan Poe. Why on earth are not knowing this the only place to go? <laughs> Here we are in the inventing room. This is the most important room in the entire factory. Voila, the everlasting gourmet gobstopper. That looks like gum. Oh, that's because it is gum. Gum? The most dazzling gum in the world. Gum? Oh, no. But it's not been properly tested. Therefore, nobody should chew it. Gum? Only have one dream in life, there's very little to it. To own one stick of lifelong gum and all lifelong to chew it. I chew it all through childhood, I chew it when I wed. If I survive till 95, I'll chew it till I'm dead. But this gum here is much better than that one. This gum here is a three course dinner. Pea soup, roast beef, and blueberry ice cream. Blueberry is the nicest ice cream. You may feel fat, but in fact you're thinner, even after a three-course dinner. Mm, that gum is so much. It really tastes like pea soup. Oh, and here comes a roast beef. It's fantastic. So tender and juicy. But the blueberry ice cream. I'll bet it's to die. That's what I'm worried about, the dye. Her candy strings gone down the drain. I asked her not to chew it. Too late, Willie, really. nothing to it, cause I know just how to chew it. There is no need to poo-poo it. All I have to do is do it. Violet, it's so bad for you. You'll violet do your turn in blue. Violet, what's just gonna do? Just stand there singing, am I blue? Yes, yes she's turning blue, blue. It's true, oh violet, you are now a blue. The bright and lousy gum, I knew it. Blue, red, blue, fat into it.
Well, well, well. Two naughty little children gone. Three good little children left. Mr. Wonka, will Violet be all right, or will she always be a blueberry? Very probably. Come along, there's so much seed to more. Stop! Idiot. Reverse that. Ah, Quint forgot about this room. It's the fizzy lifting drink room. Bubbles, do they taste like candy? Mr. Wonka, sweetie, I want bubbles that taste like candy. Oh, actually, the bubbles taste like soap for children with dirty mouths. It's what the bubbles do that is remarkable. What do they do, Wonka? Oh, one sip of my fizzy lifting drink and you will float on air. Float on air? Whoa! Unfortunately, my legal advisors have forbidden us taking even the tiniest taste. Come along, I have much more exciting things to show you. They've left us behind. Grandpa Joe, what's that? Try it. Who's there? Hello? Try it. Try it. Try should, it. Should we? I suppose one tiny sip won't do any harm. Wow. Wow. I'm flying. I'm flying. There's no sensation that's quite as sensational as flying. Thrilling, fulfilling, and higher educational as flying. It's inspirational and recreational trying. Way, way up there in midair to be touching the sky. Which I guess is why there is no feeling that's quite like the feeling of flying. Bumping your head on the ceiling of what's up above. It's so appealing, I'm reeling at my depth defying. Flying. Up, Charlie, it's a fan. It's sucking us up. Try to flow down. I can't. Try, Charlie, try. I can't. It's gonna cut us to bits. Think positive. I can't. Think. Wait, that's it. Burping is the answer. Oh, how I love to burp. People burp from Atlanta to Antwerp. From John Wayne to White Earp. Just as birds love to chirp. Every guy loves to be URP. Uh, Happy birthday to me. So you see, Veruca, cocoa beans contain a variety of chemicals, the primary psychoactive components being therabromine and caffeine. Now just step this way, and uh, Charlie, do stay with the group. I wouldn't want you to float away, now would I? And here we have the nut room. Squirrels? Right you are, they are squirrels. Eventually these squirrels remove a walnut from its shell in one piece and sort the good nuts from the bad nuts. They're so adorable. Here, Squirrely Squirrely. Veruca, whatever you do, do not disturb the squirrels. They are in training. Mr. Wonka, I want a squirrel. I want a squirrel and a 
I want a squirrel and an Oompa Loompa and a pink candy bow. And while we're at it, I want a feast. I want a bean feast. Cream buns and donuts with fruitcake and no nuts. So good you could go nuts. Give them to me. Now, I want a party with rollfuls of laughter. I want a ton of ice cream. And if I things I am after, I'm gonna scream. I want the work. I want the whole work. Presents and prizes and sweets and surprises of all shapes and sizes. And now, don't care how I want it now. Don't care how I want it now. That nut. <laughs> Well, that particular shoot leads to the garbage incinerator. But don't worry, there's a chance it may not be lit today. A chance? Yes, well, it's generally only lit every other day. Can't seem to remember if today's burn day. Mm. Shame. She was so deliciously bossy, a natural captain of the industry. Now just step this way and I'll be with you in one moment. Right, now everybody must wear eye protection. Good. Ah, uh, over your eyes. Fantastic. And welcome to the Coco Vision Room. What is this place? Some sort of television studio? Of course, making eye commercials. Wrong. You are all familiar with how television works? Yeah, big deal. What's this thing do? I'm sorry, I'm a bit deaf in that ear. I said, what's this thing do? bit deaf in that ear as well. What's the Loompy Doompy doing? Well, you see, television gave me a wonderful idea. If you can send a picture via television, why not a candy bar? That's impossible. Oh, but it's very possible. Imagine you're watching TV, and suddenly you see a commercial. Try a Wonka bar. Try it now. And poof, there it is. A simple touch of that flash, a simple flash of that camera right there. But. It's not been properly tested, and it is very dangerous. Therefore, nobody should use it. Hey, watch me! I'm gonna be on TV! Oh, dear. I do hope a part of him isn't left behind. You know, we've never seen a person before. Look, something's happening. He is completely unharmed. Unharmed? He's barely six inches tall. Yes, well, that is an issue. But small boys can be very springy and stretchy. Ah, the taffy pulling machine. That will do well. How far do you think he'll stretch? Who knows? Maybe miles.
Right, well, I'm sure you can find your way out. What about Charlie's lifetime supply of chocolate? <sighs> yes, each of the children will receive their chocolate. Other than that, the day's been a total waste of time and chocolate. Good day, Charlie Bucket, and goodbye. Um, goodbye, Mr. Wonka. <sighs> Mr. Wonka, wait. I accidentally took a sip of the fizzy lifting drink, and I broke the rules. I'm really sorry. This was at least better than Christmas. God bless you, Charlie. You did it. You did it. Now see here, Wonka. It was like my idea to try. I created this contest with one purpose in mind, to find the perfect person to make new candy dreams come true. What do you mean? This was a test of character. I carefully selected every room to tempt each of our golden ticket winners. You did something quite remarkable. You gave into temptation. You were smart enough not to get caught, and yet you admitted your guilt. Uh, what about the other kids? All the other kids will be fine, and they will each receive their booby prize, a lifetime supply of chocolate. That's the booby prize? What's the real prize? Charlie, do you love my factory? It's the most wonderful place in the world. I'm pleased to hear you say that, because from this moment on, it's yours. You want me to run the factory? What about my mom and my dad and Green? The entire and family can live here. I'd love that. I'd positively love that. Now Charlie makes everything he bakes satisfying and delicious. Talk about your childhood wishes. You can even eat the dishes. Oopa loopa doo ba dee doo. I got a vinyl puzzle for you. Oopa loopa doo ba dee dee. If you are wise, you'll listen to me. There is a problem with us. Sunrise. Okay.